Ag Tire Talks Driving Yield Through Tire Technology, sponsored by Michelin Agriculture. James Tusher with Ag Tire Talk here. I'm with Mike Gelbin from Galileo Cup Wheel. We're here to talk about the irrigation tire that Galileo is producing, the Galileo Era Cup. And I want to start out, Mike, with one of the things that really impressed me because it's airless. It really reduces the downtime. So talk about what you're seeing that producers are experiencing with your product relative to other stuff out there. Okay, thanks. Um, we're seeing a lot of things. Uh, for, for the for the farmers um, in, in some areas of the country, um, with, depending on the terrain that they're operating in, uh, they're, they're increasing demand for, for a no downtime, an airless tire and wheel solution of some sort um, as these pivots have gotten uh, uh, autonomous. I mean, they just run autonomous. They have uh, larger loads on them because they have large pipes. They have longer yes. spans. They've gotten longer uh, like all equipment, you know, in, in every industry, it's bigger, it's heavier, you, more demand on the, on the systems, on the tires and wheels, same thing with pivots and uh, getting stuck in today's world when you're, Pivots are all about increasing yield. I mean, irrigation, it's all about increasing the yield per acre, all about getting more out of the land that you have with the crop that you're growing. So uh, when you're down, it's incredibly costly, uh, not to mention the, 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 the sheer work involved, but in dollars and cents, it's uh, incredibly costly. So if you can alleviate that, uh, it, it's a huge deal for the producer, for the grower. You know and there's a couple of downtimes that I'm thinking of. You know, everyone's seen the pivots where, you know, the tires get stuck. Granted, that is a down. But we've also seen the pivots go down because, right, they just don't have air in the tire. So let's talk talk about what you've seen in the field specifically, really the benefit that the producers are getting because it's airless. So uh, the obvious uh, benefit to any airless is no flats. So Amen. puncture proof. Yeah, um, that which is great. We we don't really see that as the primary issue on pivots so much as we see derimming, where you're in yes. really really wet soil, whether what type of loam it might be in, but it could be sandy or clay. It could be the real silty stuff, to, or the what they call a gumbo, the dark black yes. gumbo of Arkansas and Louisiana. I mean, this stuff ha actually creates a suction when the tire gets in there so deep and it tends to pull them off. I mean, it literally pulls tire away from the wheel. So whether it's punctures or de-rimming, um, all of these are a problem. Uh, so the, the, in the last, I would say, seven to eight years, there's been all sorts of uh, solutions come up. Some are solid steel with a little rubber on the outer edge. Some are plastic. Some are over-the-tire type uh, systems, like over-the-tire tracks. Uh, to alleviate all these problems. Um, we think, uh, we don't think, we, we, we know after doing this about five years that we have the solution that literally clicks all the boxes. Um, it, it, there's no downtime. Uh, we have this uh, superior flotation to pull through all those things I just mentioned. And with the rubber flex, we protect the gearbox, which is also very critical. Another That's element cool. to the pivot with the mostly electric gearboxes. And when they, when they're, Tires churning and it's been stuck, then it has a tendency to do a lot of damage and break that gearbox. So you alleviate that as well with the Galileo Era Cup. So really, you've got the no downtime piece. You've got the enlarged footprint plus the gearbox protection. Before we move off of no downtime, let's talk through how does the thing, how does the tire stay more adhered to the wheel without pulling off when there ain't no air in it, Mike? Uh, Okay, yeah, good question. So we uh, we've had a few versions, kind of like iPhone, come out uh -huh. with iPhone one, iPhone two. Now they're up to iPhone. I don't know, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> I I think I have an iPhone thirteen. So I'm I can't like, handle I'm, the th the highest end ones, right? Yeah, I mean, me neither. I have to get the kids to tell me how it right. works. So um, we, our our first version uh, uh, actually fit on a standard wheel and used an external system of of clips to lock onto it. Uh, not optimal, and we we kept working to, to improve it. Now we have a, a custom design bolt together wheel with an internal bead lock. So any airless tire, if, you, if you're going to have a tire that sits on a wheel, you see this in ATV and racing tires. And then you do. Uh, it, it's got to have some kind of a way to lock that bead against yep. the, the wheel because with pneumatic tires, air pressure does that. And when yep. you don't have any air pressure in there, um, 
the way to make it airless is to have something that forces that bead against that lip of the the inner lip of that tire. So we have that inside our wheel. You don't see it. Uh, and that locks. It's been tested okay. uh, and tried, and there's no slippage. Uh, so the, the tire is locked onto that wheel. It can be taken apart. There's really no need to because it's going to be on there for a very long time. Well, very good. Okay, so let's get on to the footprint. So really, we, it's about a 30% increase in footprint. If you haven't right. listened to the other one, really what the concept is, you have to check the visual out. It, it, it re- honestly looks like a track on the bottom. It's so elongated. It's clearly got the best footprint on from an irrigation standpoint that I've ever seen. It's just like a supersized elongation. So t- let's talk about that. I mean, I've seen the pivot stuck out, out there, but what else is that doing for them? And is there some specifics on yield improvement you can talk about? There are. Um, we're, we're, we've just started to do some studies with uh, with good farmers that we deal with who, who taken the time to help us do uh, uh, do some calculations on that. I just want to touch a bit on 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 the the elongated yeah. footprint before sure. I say that, if if yeah, I could, absolutely. Um, you could, you can tell by looking at the rut the difference. If anybody's seen what the the shat, we're a much shallower rut, which is important also because mm-hmm. farmers don't want to be bumping over these pivot tracks or ruts with their power equipment. Um, we're much shallower. We don't create this big berm that others do. Um, but we're also flat. We're, it's like a square footprint on the in the, the rut, which is exactly what a track leaves behind, as opposed to a rubber, a, a standard pneumatic tire. It's circular. If when you look, if you're looking, standing in the rut and looking, it, it's circular, and they dig down. So you can tell by the shape of the rut which one is our tire versus a uh, uh, conventional. Yeah, you uh, know, it's interesting. Just from my perspective, time. after seeing the tracks, really, you've got to remember with the inverted sidewall, which is what this is, it pushes that tread out, right? So it just keeps it at that really, really That's flat profile. Perfectly, it's an amazing almost thing. perfectly flat. That's correct. We have almost. Uh, as 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 even weight displacement of tread on the ground as you can possibly get with a pneumatic with a with a rubber tire. Um, yeah, we'll have some visuals on that too. I tell you what, it really is something to see. So, uh, okay, great. So let's get on to like the dollars. The dollars <laughs> and cents on a I I I can I just have in mind a, a recent uh, study that we did with a central Nebraskan farmer who's using our tires on a very very heavy corner. Uh, span which is the most abusive any pivot operator knows if they're using corners these tend to be the worst spots uh for for tires and he's got a drainage problem in this uh, certain field where he's got a a full-size pivot and he's been using steel wheels because he just wants airless unfortunately the steel wheels dig really deep down into the the the, footprints are tiny deep mud and just make it worse and he's going through gearboxes and um He's each rotation on, on a on a drought year. He was doing uh, thirteen rotations a season. Okay, and yeah. in a hundred a hundred and forty acre field, and he's getting stuck in two spots every rotation. Oh, wow! Now that that's uh, if you're only getting stuck in one spot, that's bad enough. He's getting stuck at the north and south ends of his field, was these deep deep muddy bogs, and um, he had to go out and pull it through each spot uh, to get through the season. So uh, he alleviated that problem by uh, just taking two of our tires and putting them on that corner tower and he no longer got stuck. That's an awesome testimonial. Fantastic. I'm sure In he's the thrilled. existing ruts halfway up the wheel, our, our, ours just pulled through and it, it solved his problem. Um, so in the dollars and cents to that is uh, the, if the, the, the labor, uh, he, the calculation, the, the cost of the, the man hours per incident to pull through uh for this season was roughly just over ten thousand dollars in pure nice. labor and machine yeah. costs, and then he calculated at the he's growing organic corn in this field, again one hundred and four about one hundred and forty one point something acre field, and it's a the organic corn uh, was the the crop price was roughly twelve hundred dollars uh, an acre, and he he did the calculation with the loss of water at eight percent, the effect on his yield was just over eleven acres. And that converted out to you, you multiply that times twelve hundred dollars, and you're 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 over twelve thousand dollars. The the that plus the labor costs combined were hitting him to the tune of just over twenty four thousand dollars. And how many season. acres was that? One hundred and forty acre field. Wow. And he has 
He has uh, eight. <laughs> he has eighteen. That's child's pivot. play for most of the similar size fields. Uh, eighteen pivot. That's just one. That's just wow. One. So well, so the that hopefully uh, 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 shows the 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 impact of of what it this does. does to their yield. We um, love the bottom line dollars, my man. The bottom line, and you put you you put our product on there, and you you're not down anymore. I love it. Okay, so we're going to land on gearbox protection. Clearly, if a gearbox goes, it's a big old deal. So just give us a quick and easy as to why you're easier on a gearbox than a traditional pneumatic or um, non-pneumatic. So so when you're using non-pneumatics tend to be either steel or plastic. They're rigid. They don't have much flex, if if any flex at all. Um, we're a rubber tire. Even though we're no longer airless, we still have a, an air cavity. It's just not pressurized. You don't need to inflate it. So uh, you enjoy the benefits of that rubber flex. Uh, again, in testing with one of the large, with the largest OEM, uh, we we uh, proven that we're we protect the drivetrain, okay. uh, which is mainly the gearbox. Most of which today are electric, not all. Uh, yeah, and and usually when there's gearboxes giving up the ghost, uh, it tends to be tire related because it, it means they got stuck and they were churning before they could get them to to turn off. Uh, not everybody has the advanced systems also, so they might be churning for quite a while until they realize that they have a tire problem. Um, and, and that's just hard on gearboxes. Uh, and they have to go out and change a gearbox, you're usually changing tires and wheels also. Well, very good. So really what we're landing on with this Galileo Era Cup is, number one, a lot less downtime and airless version. We've got the elongated footprint of the tune around 30% over standard pneumatics and also, gearbox protection. Mike, what I forget? I think that covers most of it for the, for the pivots. Stay tuned for all the other segments that we're bringing product out for. Amen. And that's a wrap. For more information, Galileo's toll-free number, 888-280-0851, or email info at galileowheel.com, and the website www.galileowheel.com.